Hello students. This time I am going to talk about postmodernism. What is postmodernism? We come across this term whenever we try to read literature. of the later half of the 20th century. But I think uh, we cannot know anything about postmodern characteristics in literature until we know about uh, modernism. So I think it proper on my part to talk about modernism first in this lecture and I will talk about postmodernism or the difference between modernism and postmodernism in the coming video lectures fine postmodernism is a term used to suggest a reaction or to suggest a response to modernism in the late 20th century so postmodernism can only be understood in relation to modernism. The very term postmodernism implies a relation to modernism. It is clear because postmodernism means the era that came after modernism. Modernism was an earlier aesthetic movement which was in vogue in the early decades of the 20th century. It has often been said that postmodernism is at once a continuation of modernism and a breakaway also from uh, from the modernist stance of the writers. At its core, postmodernism rejects that which modernism champions. While postmodernism seems very much like modernism in, 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 in many ways, but it's not totally like modernism. There are differences between modernism and postmodernism. It differs. Postmodernism differs, differs from modernism in its attitude towards a lot of these trends which, which are there in modernism. Modernism, for example, tends to present a fragmented view of human subjectivity and history. Modernism presents the fragmented view as you see you, you should keep Eliot's The Vast Land in your mind when you are reading about modernism or talking about modernism. It present, but it presents that fragmentation as something tragic something to be lamented, something to be mourned as a loss. Because, you know, uh, Eliot mourns for the loss of, um, you know, many things. Postmodernism, in contrast, doesn't lament the idea of fragmentation. Postmodernism doesn't uh, lament uh, incoherence provisionality but rather celebrates that fragmentation rather celebrates incoherence everywhere disintegration uh, it, 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 it is used to describe certain characteristics of post world war second literature postmodernism for example on fragmentation on paradox on questionable narrators etc and a reaction against enlightenment ideas implicit in modernist literature 
modernism projects the fragmentation and uh, desolation decay decenteredness of the of the modern world of the contemporary world as tragic as you know modern writers mourn for 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 loss of integrity centeredness by showing the decenteredness of the contemporary world the they show the contemporary world as fragmented it laments the loss of the unity and the center of life modernism laments these things loss of center of life and suggests that works of art can provide the unity can provide coherence can provide continuity can provide meaning that is lost in modern life as i told you you should keep eliot's westland in mind while uh, talking about modernism so eliot laments that the modern world is an infertile westland the modern world is the fragmentation is coherent he laments the incoherence of the modern world and this incoherence has is affected in the structure of the poem also however the westland tries to recapture the lost meaning and organic unity by turning to eastern culture like the da datta daya dham dammeta datta datta dammeta daya dham these are you know eastern concepts so he turns to eastern cultures where there is coherence there is centeredness and in the use of tiresias as a protagonist now i come to postmodernism in art postmodernism refers to a reaction against modernism it is less a cohesive movement than an approach an attitude towards art towards culture towards society its main characteristic postmodernism's main characteristics include anti authoritarianism include refusal to recognize the authority of any single style this is authoritarianism i am not talking about authoritarianism in political arena they deny any kind of authority postmodernists deny authority or any single style definition of art should be they don't um, acknowledge a standard uh, definition of art and the collapsing of the distinction between high culture and mass or popular culture they don't see any difference between these two things and between art and everyday life postmodern art can be also characterized by a deliberate use of earlier styles and conventions and an eclectic you, you can say mixing of different artistic and popular styles and mediums they intentionally mix different um, uh, artistic styles different popular styles different mediums to create a different kind of uh, atmosphere in their works in their works of art so this is the big difference between modernism and postmodernism i will talk about other differences in the next video thank you